Trust me, if I ever have to bend down for anything, hide the women and children. All right, so welcome to the first episode of this page. My name is Brent, and I'm fat. Going on the carnivore. Thinking about, uh, we just started watching a bunch of uh, videos on the carnivore diet. Dr. Ken Berry being a, a, a major one, obviously, probably for a lot of people. And we just decided, man, we need to do this. I knew I was going to Vegas in a couple weeks and there was no way I was going to start the diet before I went out there. Just be one or two weeks in and then go to Vegas and have all that. So I decided I'll wait till we got back. I got back last night late, about 1130. So it is time to do it and I'm actually excited to do it. I've got fears as well, but we're going to we're going to jump into it and I can't wait to make my first batch of eggs and sausage <laughs> so yeah i gotta go to the grocery store today pick up several dozen eggs some sausage a bunch of other stuff we do have some filet mignon in the freezer so it's gonna be fun to kind of get things going i should be i'm six four i should be around i don't know 220 pounds and i just weighed myself before i started this video i'm at 265 and it's not a pretty 265 i assure you so we got some work to do we're gonna make it fun i'm not gonna you know dazzle you with all kinds of stuff uh, editing that sort of thing maybe a little but we're gonna have some fun with it for sure one of the things that we have to do is go through our fridge and throw everything out that we're not going to be eating and i'm taking you on the ride for that one because man there is i mean you're gonna see why I'm such a lard butt when you see that between the fridge and the freezer. And we'll see how it goes. I really don't know how it's going to go. But we're listen, we're, we're just starting. And hopefully a bunch of you will want to come on the ride with my wife and I. My wife's going to do it too. She just doesn't like to be on camera. So she's not going to get on camera on purpose. However, <laughs> I will sneak her in every once in a while. But yeah, so we're gonna empty the food. We're gonna take some measurements and <clears throat> we're just gonna kick this off and hopefully it goes well. So I'm gonna go down and make a big pot of bacon like uh, Dr. Ken Berry did with his wife. And we're gonna see how that goes. Those are gonna be the little sample uh, bacon crisps or whatever, little treats. <sighs> I have no idea what to expect. I've seen a lot of different people's journeys and I hope ours is a good one and I hope you'll wanna uh, watch ours. So it's gonna get a lot more interesting than what this video is, but hey, I gotta kick it off somehow. So let's do it. So I'm on my way to Vegas. I probably did the opener of this video already. Uh, a couple, couple hours early because I hate being late makes makes me anxious but in celebration of my carnivore diet that i'm going to be doing here pretty soon uh, we are planning a uh, dinner at in and out burger tonight which is right around the corner from our hotel so i'm going to pound some in and out this week and uh, i'm going to carbo load and then it's eggs and bacon baby so here's the first frustrating thing i was going to make some bacon and I see this three pack that I got from Costco, thick cut bacon, and it's got sugar in it. It's one of the ingredients. So then I pull out this pack of bacon, which we had in our freezer, and this has sugar in it. So what the heck? Now we gotta go to the store and try and find a bacon that doesn't have sugar in it. And yeah, I don't know. And then here's another one. Here's a Kirkland brand. And it doesn't even have ingredients on it. So no no way to tell if it has sugar or not. Just gonna have breakfast. Make up some bacon. And we can't do that now. Because all of this bacon is a carnivore kicking the shorts.
Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is cook up a bunch of bacon. I saw Dr. Ken do this with his wife. This was basically what they did for a snack. And we're gonna give it a try. Nice fat. Just gonna give this a couple of slices here. Ground beef is done. Deep pan. Gonna separate all the pieces. All right, last couple pieces, and we're gonna get this on the stove. There we go. Gonna put the lid on. Cook, baby. Cook. Starting to cook. I think it's also interesting too. Start looking at stuff like a toaster. It's like, oh, probably won't need that anymore. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's get this toaster out of here. I'm gonna put this down in the basement in case we have uh, uh, visitors visiting our house and they want some toast or something. We'll be able to do it. So we'll get this out of the way. Then we're gonna move our knife set down a little bit. And for the big improvement, our bacon grease container. Yay, we just got it on Amazon. It just came in last week when I was in Vegas. It's got a little strainer. So this thing gets its first fill up today, which is awesome. Let's do this. Let's see how it's doing. Give it its first stir. Oh damn. See, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with the carnivore diet because this stuff smells so good. I could do a breakfast sausage diet probably. So as I continue to cook this bacon, I just gotta tell you, I did our measurements. We just did our measurements and my stomach measurement over my belly button was 50. 50 inches. Here's the kicker. I'm still wearing 36 waist jeans. So for me, when I gain weight, my pants don't get any bigger. They just get lower. They just go down and down. So now I have to wear really long shirts because if I bend over to pick up a quarter, it looks like a little slot machine where you're supposed to put that quarter, if you know what I'm saying, any plumbers out there. So yeah, so it will be nice to be able to start wearing jeans where I'm supposed to wear jeans and maybe look like I have a butt. I don't have a butt, but right now it looks like I don't have anything. It's a nightmare back there. Trust me, if I ever have to bend down for anything, hide the women and children. Give this another stir. Probably water in there as well as grease. So it's coming along good. Probably about six minutes in, six, seven minutes. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Oh man, we're getting some nice crispy looking ones in there. Heck yeah, get some of these bigger pieces down in. Got this on high, so she's cooking hard and heavy right now. Heck yeah, oh these look good. I think they're done. And look at all the grease we have. Okay, so there you have it. Our first batch. Look at all that grease. I'm going to let that cool just for a little bit before we pour it into our container because that's going to be hot. 
and now to witness witness my first carnivore consumption. Yeah. I'm going to be able to get used to this, I think. Oh, yeah. And now the moment we've been all waiting for. Oh, boy, this is hot. I guess you should be able to pour it in hot, right? Our first submission. There's a bunch of bacon, little kibbles and bits down there. All right. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do for our first meal, got a pound of ground beef, and you can see all the little kibbles and bits of bacon down in here, a little bit of grease. We're just gonna leave it in there. We're gonna cook it all together. Then we're gonna put eggs in it. That's going to be our breakfast and lunch because it is 11.15 right now, a.m. Tell you what, check this out. Why don't we just get a little crazy? I don't know how lean this hamburger is, but let's get some bacon grease down in that. We have a guy at work that has chickens and his wife gave him five dozen eggs and said here take these to work and get rid of them because they have too many of them. So I will be sending him an email tomorrow letting him know if he ever needs to get rid of eggs to let me know. I love eggs anyway so that's why I think this carnivore diet is going to be decent. You can see all these different colored eggs in here. Uh, they have a little doo-doo on them still so we'll be getting that off of there but these eggs are going right into that hamburger and hopefully we're going to be getting some free eggs which nothing wrong with that okay we've got a dozen eggs they're going in we're just going to scramble it up get some membrane down in there i think dr ken said that's where the collagen is Look at that big old drippy snotty collagen hanging out. This, this is a beast. That's a big egg right there. Boom. Perfect. Comes the greeny. Turn that up to high and let's get going. Got my uh, Redmonds. We just ordered this last week. They came in and were delivered to the house when I was in Vegas. So we're going to try some Redmonds salt for the first time. It looks like sand from a beach. Let's give this a try. Don't know how salty it's going to be. Let's start breaking some yolks. Ground beef and eggs. With Bacon grease, starting to look really good. Smells good. Jeez, I'm making a mess already. Dip some out for my wife. Yeah, are you having some? Eggs and ground beef. Sprinkle some gar garnish on mine. <laughs> it's not very salty. 